holiday preparation episode two, whatever we ever call it. So in the last video, I showed myself eating out and um, I was making sure I was getting my protein in through adding an extra chicken breast. However, I did that quite in an expensive way. So if you're trying to cut costs, for example, extra spending money or for me, uh, being self-employed, obviously when I'm on holiday, I won't make any money. So it's important to make sure I've got a little nest egg to make sure I'm going, to make sure I'm still alive, can still function afterwards. Uh, so what I've done is I've actually invested in something where I've made a previous video, not against, but not necessarily for. I have gone to myprotein.com uh, or .co.uk and I bought myself a five kilogram bag of chocolate protein. Uh, the reason I've done this, I'm not going to rely on this. I'm not even going to have this every day. Um, I find myself, I'm often leave my house at half five in the morning, not getting back till eight, for example, today. I haven't always got everything I want with me prepped. And I find by not having like a preparation or something prepared, I'm actually spending more money that I don't need to spend. For example, buying protein shakes out of the vending machine or protein bars. So by buying this five kilogram bag, I'm gonna put it in my locker in pure gym and work. And if I ever think I haven't got enough protein in, then I can chuck that in there. It's already paid for. Um, I don't have to worry about spending three pounds 50 for a shake out of the vending machine. So cost-effective ways, if you're looking to make sure you can still make your gains, just plan ahead, have a cost-effective thing in, in uh, place. You know, if you're a multimillionaire, don't worry about it, just eat steak as much as you can, you know. For, for sure, I'm definitely going to get my protein in through every single way, uh, through food or every other every other option before I go for this. But um, yeah, it's definitely nice, a nice little backup. But you don't need it, it's not a necessity, but something that will definitely help you. So it's now 6.45 on Tuesday, I have, uh, sorry, 6, 30, 6.40, I have a client at 6.45. Uh, I touched on it in the last video about preparation for a uh, holiday, it's cardio. The idea of the cardio is I'm trying to burn more calories, because in general you want to be leaner on holiday, not many people go on holiday, want to be bulky. So another great tip is I'm going to up the amount of legs, I'm going to train legs, it's your biggest muscle group, it burns more calories, so if I can hit legs more than once a week or maybe twice a week, then I'll be able to burn more calories. So that's what's coming next. I am a firm, firm, firm believer, okay, if you are trying to lose weight, it's all about diet. If you've got a good diet and bad training, you can still lose weight. If you've got great training and bad diet, you probably won't lose the body fat you're looking for. Um, so, you know, if you want to keep your training the same, that doesn't really matter. But uh, for me, I definitely like to make training a little bit harder around times uh, in terms of doing more reps, maybe less weight, more reps, really get a sweat on. Obviously, different things for different people. But yeah, really, really try that. If you are trying to get a little bit leaner, maybe instead of doing sets of 10, sets of 50. Give it a go.